What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in order to decide, in order to figure out, in order to understand, is AGL Kid Boo the worst Extreme Z Awakening in the game? I shut it down wherever power is stored Being real is in the past, watching cowards get on, 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 on It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger And these bite-sized rappers now sense in my home So here we go testing out this uh, artificial life form slash Majin power team uh, In case you're like, who the hell is this boo that you're bringing along? Um, he's one of the early early extreme z awakening uh awakened characters right uh he's been out for a hell of a long time this majin buu uh matter of fact this man came out december 2015 over on japan and then a few months later april 2016 over on uh, global and he got his easy a over two years ago it's been two and a half years at this point january and february uh you know for jp and then on global uh, in 2019 so two and a half years for both versions of the game this guy has been extreme z awakened so you can imagine that the easy a is not gonna be particularly great mainly because since it's an older unit you know it, it's gonna be balanced a bit i guess it's it's not going to be as overpowered as one would imagine right a character like this to be i do love that he ended up being at the very end the seventh spot um so who i want him to link up best with is going to be the tech uh majin boo the self supreme kai boo the super boo buff boo whatever you want to call him they link up incredibly well they share six links and so that's going to be his best option right um it's gonna be everything but berserker and honestly that is clutch because berserker is a terrible link it only activates when you're below 50 percent hp and the agl majin boo obviously doesn't have it but you're gonna have what majin um big bad bosses which is important brutal beat down infinite regeneration fierce battle and the wall standing tall and so the only thing that he's not getting is more than meets the eye which is not a big deal um, this should be okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have him next to him for now because, I mean, they're sharing, what, four links and he gave him a bunch of orbs because that's what this guy relies on. He relies on every single key sphere obtained. So that's going to be nine. That's 11. And he's going to gain 7% defense. So it's going to be 77% defense here. Um and 14% attack per orb. So, like, at the end of the day, is that a lot? Uh, I mean, it's like, what, 154% attack? So it's not terrible. He's greatly lowering defense. He's up to 373. I I'm really interested to see what he actually hits for here. Keep in mind, he's also getting a supportive buff from this man here, 30% attack and defense. 101k defense. Not as bad as I, I thought, honestly. Not as bad as I thought. Um, still bad, but not, not as terrible as I was thinking. So let's see what kind of damage he puts out here. 2.2 million. Wow, look at you. I mean, he did just do... He did just grab 11 orbs, though. <laughs> he did just grab 11 orbs, which is a lot of flipping orbs. So that is... That's not going to happen all the time because he's not always going to have a orb changer every rotation right it's just not not the case not um not feasible uh yeah you, you're not going to expect that to constantly happen but even still broke two million i didn't think he was going to be able to touch two million and he broke two million so that's good uh and again he doesn't have his best linking partner which is this buff boo here um what is curious to me though is what happens when he doesn't grab an ungodly amount of orbs like he just did because that was a lot of orbs that he was able to get there. So I'm curious to see the next rotation, what happens when he's not able to get 11 orbs, 10 orbs, even nine orbs, right? Let's just, what happens when he's grabbing three or four and he's only gaining a 21% you know, or a 28% attack boost or a 32 or a 48% attack boost, you know? Um, then the numbers might 
uh, might drop down just a little bit. The numbers might drop down quite a bit, uh, and I'm interested to see how that how that ends up working out. So we'll see what happens. Damn, 4.1 million. Goodness gracious, this guy is powerful. We're a cleaning house here, I do have to say. All right, so we're going tech again. And uh, like I said before, well, let's see how they'll how he'll look if he's in the middle. Um, 114, 104. Yeah, he actually works best in the middle here. And I think what I'll do, no, I'll have him here. I'll have him here. We'll do this. Uh, or do I want to grab? Yeah, I think I'll do this and I'll give him all these AGL orbs. Boom. So nine. All right. So we're losing a few, right? They are his type, but the type doesn't really matter. There's some units like, uh, there's some units that really like a certain type of orb. You know, the more tech orbs you grab, you gain buff, the more this, the more that. He's not one of them. And so he's going to sit at 80,000 because he's no longer getting that 30% bonus for defense. So his defense is a lot lower his attack is dropped down uh by what 28 percent so let's see what he's able to do here because he's still gonna be sitting at like 130 a little under 130 percent attack so he still should be able to get close to 2 million um but i'm not sure well he doesn't have that attack boost anymore either though so this might really show his true colors and point out that he's not really a strong Extreme Z Awakening. Though, this man is definitely a strong LR. Goodness gracious, look at this absolute power he's displaying here. Boom! Another one? No, okay, no no more. Two million. Okay, so he was able to break two million. Wow, all right. With nine orbs. Again, we're using him alongside of the Orb Changer. Um, it's not an AGL Orb Changer, but it is an Orb Changer. Uh, maybe I should have brought... Um, what's his face? Let, let's see. Artificial life forms. Would the AGL Rildo even link up with him at all? I don't think he shares more than one link with him. So that actually wouldn't have been possible. Because I'm thinking like maybe you can bring AGL Rildo. He changes orbs for him. And then, you know, that ends up working out somewhat. But I don't know if that would have been the right play. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and just finish this dude off. Uh, LR Bu Han should be able to just destroy him, or LR Bu tanks at this point. And then we can get to the next fight with um, with the AGL Kid Bu. Honestly, so far, he's not as bad as I remember. He's not as bad as I remember. But I think one thing that definitely is working in his favor is the fact that the... Uh, link levels have come to play and to be honest i haven't used this guy since link level was a thing so the majin category probably got the biggest improvement in terms of links right uh, whether it's majin whether it's infinite regeneration whether it's you know brutal, brutal beatdown or wall standing tall or, or any of these other links they really got uh, the best of the best uh, out of the exchange. Them and cells, right? They were, they were like, they were so happy about all the changes that came in. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's drop these four orbs there. And now, uh, still getting ten orbs though. So it's really, it's actually really hard. We're getting lucky. I, I do have to say, we're getting lucky with orb placements. It's not that. He's just like, uh, this is going to be an all the time thing. He is getting lucky with orb placements. Uh, let's see if I, I really want to get to one where he only gets four. And maybe I'll just do that, you know, just like uh, I'll just make sure that he gets only four and kind of see how he performs there. Uh, but so far, we're getting, we had an orb changer and now just this rotation was good. So 2.4 mil. Let's see how much he gets hit for and an additional one. Unfortunately, he doesn't do any good effect on his super attack except for lowering defense, greatly lowering defense, and that's, what, 50% for three turns? So it's not like, oh, my God, what a crazy effect. It's not like he's lowering attack or he's like has a chance to seal or anything like that. Unfortunately, he doesn't do any of that stuff. He's just greatly lowering defense and doing supreme damage. So the damage he's doing on his super attack isn't even that great, sadly. 
Uh, but what's not sad is the fact that we're getting just this gorgeous amount of health back because of these healers. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, all of these healing links, like if you go through his links, right? So Majin, two key, 15% attack and defense at, you know, level 10 links. Brutal Beatdown, 15% attack. Big Bad Bosses, 25% attack and defense. Infinite Regeneration, uh, two key, and then uh, recovers 3% HP, and you give, get 10% defense. Fierce Battle, 20% attack. And then the last two links that um, this AGL boo has is more than meets the eye which is 10 percent attack and defense and wall standing tall which is another 20 percent attack so this dude actually has some pretty insane numbers okay so this is perfect this is perfect here he's only going to get three orbs first off he's getting a big uh boost from this physical kid boo right here but even with that he's at eighty-eight thousand defense so we're going to bump it up three orbs that's going to be 21% defense on top of that. So now he's at 101, okay? And everyone else should be okay. Actually, this physical kid boob might die, but I don't really care. I just want to see what he does here. Let's let's find out how much damage he can actually take. He's got type advantage, keep in mind. 100k defense, still taking 116,000 damage. Yeah, I'm definitely going to die on this rotation, but this is fine because this highlights... Um, what he's able to do his attack is actually better than i thought it was gonna be 1.9 mil but i mean it's yeah you wouldn't want to have this kid boo on your team you wouldn't want to have this kid because he's too orb hungry he requires the orbs to be halfway decent and honestly intelligence kid boo is 10 times better than him because while this man requires all of those orbs to you know have a chance at surviving the intelligence kid boot doesn't need any of that stuff matter of fact the intelligence kid boot is giving majin power extreme class allies one key as long as your your hp is 50 percent or more and then when your hp is 70 percent or more you're getting another key so you're actually getting two key off of that which is huge um what is there yeah, his deep wow, that friend is absolutely insane. Let's actually transform this man because I want to just destroy this Goku. Even though, even though he's physical, we're still going to be fine here. We're still going to be fine here. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't ever bring the AGL Kid Buu <laughs> anywhere uh, when you have the Intelligence Kid Buu. And obviously with the same name update, that doesn't really become much of a concern. But I mean, just look at just i mean look oh my god that was insane but yeah it just just don't do it don't, don't do it. it it just doesn't make any sense uh obviously if you don't have intelligence kid boo if you don't have some of the other kid boos then you kind of have no choice you have to bring him along but in any other circumstance intelligence kid boo far superior than agl i don't know if i'm gonna be able to yeah it's hard to do it on an emulator too sometimes it, it clicks uh, it's, it's like speeds up or slows down or whatever the case is but that's fine because my, my my dude's at almost 5.5 million attack stat uh, if he crits then he's gonna take a hell of a lot of health here let's see how much damage he does to the boy blast him go Deesh. oh my god five million Woo. That is uh, pretty impressive. But there you go, guys. AGL Kid Boo. Uh, jury's still out if he's the worst EZA in the game. I think I have to test out a few other EZAs, and I'd like some recommendations who you guys think the worst EZA is in the game. Drop it in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget to follow the channel. You can click the blue join button, become a boomer champion like Joe V or Wolverine Gaming, or do it the free-to-play way. Gently rub that sub button. Gingerly ring that bell button. Lovingly. Kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video.